Good afternoon, everybody. It is me, Josh, Age Well Forecast, guys, and welcome back to the video. Hope you guys are all enjoying your wonderful Thursday afternoon. Good news, tomorrow is Friday, and you know what that means? That means in three days, my winter, for my preliminary winter forecast number, I think, four or five comes out. I think, I think it's four on Sunday. So, yeah, I hope you guys are all excited about this. And this will be another update on this major snowstorm to affect the east. But I do have some very bad news. Uh, for those people in the southeast, um, including me, it's actually looking like there will be actually possibly no snow at all. Maybe in these Appalachian Mountains in Tennessee and North Carolina, but it's not looking like we're going to have that snow in Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama. We could have a bit of a mix in uh, South Car in the Carolinas and a little bit of Georgia, but you guys are all going to be seeing. But the Europeans actually favoring a lot of snow in the... Um, in the east or the southeast but the gfs shows like like nothing i think the gfs is a bit better when it comes to snowstorms they've used the europeans more of a hurricane uh, system but yeah if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe guys it really means a lot when you check out my channel when you support my channel again we are 20 subscribers from um 1900 and then we get to 2000 again we are only a couple days from my one year anniversary so i want to try to get to 2000 before the end of november so yeah Hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to hit the sma hit smash that like button if you enjoyed it. But let's get into this video and see the new updates. So all these models are like they're not they're not uh, the GFS has not reloaded yet, but they are still again uh, new information. But we're gonna be looking at the National Weather Service uh, just to look at it again, just so you guys are informed what we're looking at and all that. So again, this system does not look like it happens till the beginning of next week and again it's not just the east we could have a bit of a snow maybe in the dakotas but the big threat is all the way from the east possibly from maybe appalachian and tennessee a little bit of northern 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 georgia and south carolina all the way to maine but the big the biggest threat will obviously be right here let me actually this i, I forgot this epic pen does not work immediately like it should again the biggest threat is probably right here and then the somewhat we can have we can actually have a lot of cancellations though in the southeast, though, because of this freezing rain, I'm going to have a low of 24 degrees when it rains. And again, if I I may actually see a mix, too. We're all going to be looking at But we could have major cancellations in the southeast, though, with the ice, the black ice. Definitely, what we, this can be a repeat of 2014. But again, guys, I think the biggest stretch for the northeast, I, I would maybe mention, or I would probably, the main topic would be the southeast if it was like yesterday but again it's looking like a lot less snow and my the mix might not even happen this is very far so i don't want to focus on the southeast the whole video i want to focus on just in general the whole east but we could have major black ice threat for the southeast i might have another video like this talking about the black ice later in the weekend maybe saturday even monday so don't worry if i not talk about the black ice so much here um but yeah, we also have freeze uh, watches in effect for areas all the way from near the areas of Norfolk, North Carolina, through areas near uh, Columbia, South Carolina, Clemson, North South Carolina. We have Atlanta, Georgia. We have areas in Delonica and Helen, much much of uh, North or North Central uh, um, Georgia. Also, for, we have some for Huntsville, also for uh, Central uh, Mississippi into Southern Arkansas. So again, we are going to be seeing a cold front uh tomorrow but the very big one is to come next week that we'll be bringing in the snow so again, the european is actually showing a lot more snow in the southeast and the gfs is showing so it's a huge gap in these models like a, a big 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 difference and there's not such a big difference in these snowfall totals but let's wait for this european model to load so here we are now looking at the uh, radar and we are going to be seeing again that snow by the 10th hanging in there in the Rockies out there into Montana and we'll have that snow getting to more of those plains in South Dakota. We won't have too much snowfall there. We'll have a good amount of snow, heavy snow wise uh, for areas in South Dakota. Again, this is not the biggest, the threat is not really for the plains, it's more for the east. But this could bring in, again, the Europeans or the GFS is not showing it this big at all like it, there's a complete opposite difference between these radars which is so difficult to like kind of focus on one part or one region 
with this major snowstorm. We could have some snow based on this Chicago, Des Moines, Lincoln, Nebraska, Omaha, all the way to Denver. We can have some snow. Again, guys, don't get too excited. I have some people in Tennessee. I have viewers in Alabama. I have viewers in Louisiana. I do not want you guys to get excited about this, guys. It is November. It's going to be November 12th. You guys need to know that every single time there's snow coming in your possibility coming in your air it's not always going to happen you guys are used to that so do not get used to it this is five days away so you know how things change within one day in the south so do not get excited and the fact that only one model is showing this and the other doesn't you the other model that's usually the best for snow does not even show it out at all in those areas i think there's a good chance this will happen the snowstorm will happen but not necessarily looking like it will happen so deep in the south like it's showing but again it looks like it could bring in some snow all the way from vermont and out there in the appalachians areas in ohio we can have some snow in the in finally some more measurable snow in indianapolis against springfield areas in milwaukee so we'll see some snow maybe into joplin but again yesterday it did show snow getting more into southern alabama or southern alabama, southern alabama into louisiana but it is showing going a bit more north at this point so that's kind of a bit better but also not but you can see it's a very major snowstorm we don't really see a snowstorm until this until december late to mid-december because again we don't really have snow out. usually we don't see the snow early uh, december but just benji was a bit different Again, so again, it looks, based on the GFS, it shows a little bit of line for snow for um, Huntsville into um, Tupelo and into north near Chattanooga, Tennessee. But in this light blue, it's looking like it could be very, very light snow. So it's not looking like we will have much accumulation at all. Could it be pretty fast moving? We'll have the biggest accumulation right here as we'll have incredibly heavy snow for Albany, Erickson State College, West Charleston, West Virginia. And it can bring a huge threat again. Possibly a good amount of snow out there for the Appalachians. I'm actually right. Let me actually. I'm actually not too far from the blue. I'm right here near the Lake Lanier. I'm like right here. I'm like right there near Lake Lanier. So I'm going to be more of a rain mix somewhat for, for the, with, with the GF, what the European showing. But again, we're going to have incredibly heavy snow. We can maybe have blizzard conditions possible. If there's an Albany, Burlington, Vermont, there's into Philadelphia. We see the light snow now. Philadelphia won't have too much snow to come. And we can actually see our first snowfall of the year for New York City, for Boston, for uh, Providence, Rhode Island. For there's still an Albany. We'll see a little bit of light snow as we get into the 13th, which is Wednesday. So again, this will be an early week. And there's actually a chance we can possibly cancel school because again this is very early and we can see blizzard conditions at at least um at least cancel school that's what they can do but they better do something because this will be quite dangerous so again november here we go into november 10th we start start to see that snow out there again the gfs is not showing it super big like i said it's actually showing it very very small at this point so again this is the gfs is showing it's completely different so by november 12th we have a bit of a uh, snow right here in two areas into uh, Pittsburgh in two areas into near Columbus, Ohio and the more of the eastern or eastern side of Columbus, Charleston again looks like we have a very 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 small mix from Memphis that's most likely to change because the fact that it's this small and then again it you see the GFS completely skips all of these areas completely skips Nashville, completely skips Springfield, Tennessee, completely skips Memphis, completely skips Areas near Evansville, Illinois, completely skips to below. It skips so many areas. This is the area that it skips right here. So it skips me. It skips another view right here. It skips another view I have right here. It skips another view that I have right here. So yeah, it skips a lot of people, including me. So it brings a huge amount of snow though for the Appalachians. Again, if you're near Knoxville and Gatlinburg, Tennessee, you guys will definitely be seeing the snow, obviously. And now coming to it looks like we can have a lot more snow into Philadelphia with the GFS, so it looks like we have this snowfall get in there earlier than the European is showing, because again, the European is showing it hanging out there into the southeast, but again, it looks like it comes a day early by Tuesday, we can have snow for Washington, uh, we have air, uh, snow for Richmond, have some snow getting through Concord, or uh, New Hampshire, and by Wednesday, it's actually out of the way for most of the areas, except for Boston, Providence, and Augusta, Maine, again, but it's a huge difference time-wise, and also location wise like we have up to five states that could show snow for european but does not show snow for the gfs it's a complete opposite i don't think i've really seen something so 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 big of a difference again 
we'll, we'll see again this let me get to the 13th of or the 14th of november when this is officially ended so again it, the european is showing a lot more snow for these areas or not a lot but obviously it's a lot for the southeast uh we can actually see up to less than an inch based on the european i'm gonna go the gfs guys I, like i said again we're not gonna have too much uh, snow for the ears and then uh, on the plains we can have a good inch or two for omaha again not that much snow at all it's gonna be out of there by soon again the biggest uh, snow, uh threat for snowfall will be uh, obviously the northeast but again it's honestly for the southeast it's not even snowfall wise it's the black ice that we could be seeing here it's a very big threat again haven't talked about the southeast super that much really for this video but again i want to mention again that we may you may not see snow like let's say you live in macon you can see maybe possibly 30 to 32 degrees you can live out here near montgomery you can live here near tupelo you can live into Alexandria, you can live in Little Rock, you can leave Memphis, you can leave, you can live in Springfield, or, 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 or Tennessee, Nashville, Atlanta, near Lake Lanier, uh, all, all these areas, you cannot get, you probably won't be seeing that, probably won't be seeing snow, I'm just gonna be honest, but we're gonna have all this rain in this huge area that can bring in black ice as a threat, and black ice is probably the big, bigger, bigger of a threat and snow in the southeast, or maybe even every state, it depends where you live, might be not that big of a threat if it's like new mexico or something like that i don't know but again uh yeah but we can have a lot of black ice in these areas we can that can probably at most call, uh cancel the whole day for school because again this is early week. this is monday to tuesday like this can cancel at most cancel school um the whole day uh, but at, at least if your school does not cancel um Again, you may you can be in Alabama, but still not. You can still see rain, but you could be above freezing. But some of these areas, more if you're north of the central part of that state, you could be seeing a big threat. Again, this is a huge dip in the jet stream with this cold front. I'll be seeing 24. Areas in Springfield, uh, Tennessee, for example, we're seeing a low of 14 degrees, which is probably record breaking. So yeah, we're doing that black ice though. Again, we can. Uh, I probably got a little bit off topic because I was talking about the northeast. But Burlington, Vermont, could be seeing up to a foot of snow. Areas near Albany was well, actually where Albany for snowfall wise for the European are actually are increasing, which is somewhat good if you like snow there. But we'll also be seeing a good amount of snow up to possibly seven inches to maybe eight inches out there in Albany. We'll have a good. We have up to a half a foot or more in uh, out. Um, What's it, um, Erie, Pennsylvania, and also Buffalo will have a good 8 inches for a, a Cleveland. But the thing with the European, it shows up to less than an inch for the Boston area. It's a huge difference. Why it's, so, it's forecasting the snow a bit more into the inland than in the coastal areas out there into the New England area. But again, the trop with the G GFS, of course, it has to show the complete opposite. I don't know why these models have been on my nerves for the past couple of days. The thing with the GFS, so it, for the GFS, it actually shows an inch of snow for me. Again, like I said, I'm near Lake Lanier, and I'm on the edge of an inch to an inch and a half. If you zoom in, again, I'm not going to zoom in on just myself. But again, I really am not super excited about this because it's not, it's probably going to change. Like, I'm not going to get excited over an inch, an inch and a half when it could change. It showed, a, it showed up to three inches for me yesterday, so it's obviously decreasing. Uh, and again, we're going to see up to three inches for the Appalachian. The only really thing I'm somewhat excited about, again, these temperatures could go up, but for the black ice threat, but the temperatures have gone down with the new weather channel. It showed um, a high of 50 on the 12th, but now it's 41. Now I see a low of 24 instead of 27. So these temperatures are slightly going down. But again, uh, back to the northeast, we're going to be seeing a huge difference snowfall wise. Like it's, I don't know how they can be so disagreeable. I don't, honestly, guys. I don't know what to say. Like, it shows probably at most three inches for Albany when they can see up to a foot. I just don't get it. It shows a lot more snow for Philadelphia. Philadelphia can be seen up to five inches. Erie, Pennsylvania is about the same thing, about half of, or about half of it or more. Again, same, actually not the same thing for Buffalo. Or somewhat five, six inches, I guess. But a complete opposite for these areas. Now, inland looking like a lot less snow. Like, super a lot less snow. Unless you're in upstate New York, it's not that bad of a difference. And obviously, if you're in northern Vermont, near Burlington, and near Concord, Nebraska, or Concord, um... I always want to say Nebraska, New Hampshire, you'll be seeing a big difference as you're seeing up to half a foot 
other in less than an, less than an inch, and then Boston could be seen up to half a foot too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and bye guys. And yeah, I'll be doing a couple more videos this week on this snowstorm, and I'll maybe maybe if it shows a bit more of a threat for Black Ice in the Southeast, I'll do a video probably by itself for the threat of the ice, uh, but we'll see. So bye guys.